Today, Precarious plays The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Ha! See, I knew we could do it with a T block. Good old T. That's my favorite Tetris shape, I think. <laughs> uh. I think I might even actually like the good old workhorse T block. Oh, wizards. A little more than the, uh, the. The eye block. Um. Great. Oh, you're dying. Oh, I have fairies, um, which will happen automatically. Yes. And I need to Torch. light. Lantern, I mean. These fellows aflame Torch from behind. Lantern. No, from behind. Ugh. It turns your torch off. Great. I love it. I said torch again. Lantern. It turns your lantern off. Mm. All right. Do you think there was anything important over there? Why did you fall into the hole? Because uh, anyway? I, I got lit on fire by the whiz robes, and then I shot across the room like some kind of enchanted firecracker whiz bang. Mm hmm. Firecracker whiz bang. <laughs> if only there were a some sort of incendiary device that was famous for moving quickly <laughs> that you could use instead. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, just face the corner. Like some sort of thrust propelled tubelets, you know? You know what I mean? I do know what you mean, and I'm <laughs> not feeding your joke right now because I'm really mad at my, uh, just spawn in front of me. Just spawn in front of me instead, please. Okay, okay, no, we did it, we did it, we did it, and it's fine. And it's not fine because I'm down to one snack. <laughs> They are not fairies or friends, not food. Fairies are what the game says they are, and they come in a jar with a screw cap and- No, no, no. Them. Hit what? the button. Oh. You monstro. That's like a really big monstrous wizard of PC. I kind of want to go upstairs, but I think that it's probably a better idea to go back. Uh, no, there was just a key up there last time. Right. Monsters and keys! Ten monsters. The the key is a monster. Ugh. No, that's uh dark sectors. You know, I have to be honest, yeah. I really feel like I'm playing Zelda now. Yeah. And this is roughly the level of anger that I play Zelda games with on the usual. Yeah. And I think that, like, I'm still having fun. It's only not fun because pe Wait. people are watching. What? Where is this room gonna take you? Uh, I don't, I don't know. I, to a place oh, I've oh, been, okay. right? Yeah. I just want the fuzzy electric caterpillar to give me yeah. the snack. Yeah, I just think you'll have to go around. <sighs> well, I could go up. No, I don't think you can, because there's a block in the way. Oh, yeah. What I want to know is what item are they going to... Oh, it's probably just the boss No! Beat. This is the opposite of what I need. Yeah, and the other one is in there, too. Hmm. Uh, well, you have a fairy. Do you want me to do it? Do you want me to try to do it, I should say? Okay, let's weigh our options here. Yeah. You can do it. Mm-hmm. You have what the health I have yeah. plus one fairy, right. which should be enough because these guys are kind of softies. Right. I could probably do it with that many hearts, but just barely. Mm hmm Okay, and not all the time. Right. So if I fail here, what happens? Oh, I don't know what happens when you get a game over. I yeah. don't remember. Okay, so you're going to do this because this is a show. Okay, but do understand that if I fail, I'm going to be... Very mad. You won't fail because these guys are softies. You can just, yeah, they're fine. It's easy. This baby easy. You only got to hit him like three times. The problem is that there are two of them and they kind of block for one another. Yeah, whatever. You can. I believe in you. I believe in you and I've seen you do more ridiculous things. Far more ridiculous things. Don't fight them there. Their softiness is not even exposed there. See? Like, he already gone. Mm. 
And that one is sure to follow. You just get him in the armpit. Yeah. See? You lost half a heart. Okay, and I think that it, it's time to take a dungeon break. Yeah? Yeah. And get some potions and stuff. Yeah. In fact, just to stop the, uh, the beeping. Yeah, I'm gonna drink up. You know, I shouldn't joke. I, I said that the fairies are what the game wants them to be, and I think that the game does want them to be friends, not food. Actually, you can go get your own potions because that gamepad is disgusting. It's damp. Look, at I've been it's through a moist. lot of stress lately. It's the one next to the lake, right? Yes. Okay. You slime monster. Look. It's... You slime from famous RPG series Dragon Quest. It's... That's what you are. It's natural. What can I say? Okay, uh, direct me. North? Oh, um... West and south. And then east. And then south. West... Nope, nope, nope. You ignored the second south. step. South? Right. Oh, I keep forgetting I can swim. You have to go up the stairs. Oof. Man. East... South. And then east. And then south. And then... Up the stairs? Yeah. 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 Right. And yeah. And in, and we get the red. Yeah, and you hit it... If you want to be responsible, you could go for three reds. I do want to be responsible. I have all the rupees. Okay. Then get three reds. <clears throat> yeah. It's just you'll have to be responsible and take it for a walk, and don't forget that you don't have any fairies. <sighs> you know what I mean? Yes, I know what you mean. And if this backfires, the dungeon is full of fairies. It's easier to get fairies than this stuff. That is a good point. Mm. Ugh, but as I was saying, I feel like now now I feel like I'm really playing a, a Zelda game and not just some cute gosh, just some cute tiny world experience. I don't know, like it was just adorable. It's it's just like a little adorable storybook. Yeah. I mean, have you seen this game? Hold on, wait. Yes, I have. But uh, there's something, there's an important point that I, sh you should put your red potion away so you don't accidentally quaff it. Mm-hmm. Um, use your ocarina, because you need to go back to... I was gonna finish mowing the grass. Go outside at Link's house instead, because there's a fairy fountain. And you can just heal up there. Link's house is in the middle, right? Middle cell. Nope. Middle south. Like, I'm not, not lying to you. I'm not just making up stories. I'm pretty sure it's as, about as far uh, west as you can go without transitioning to a different screen. Like, a different area, I mean. That is, what are you doing? I don't understand what you're doing. <laughs> Stop! What are you doing? Trying just to go west! Go up. Go up. Please. Like here? Please. And then go west. Oh, There's okay. a road. We've been here before. Ah, uh, no! <laughs> west! We've been here before. It's right, it's a fairy fountain, so you know it's probably a cave. <laughs> oh, man. No. <laughs> the poor boy isn't full yet. <laughs> Summon a bird! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna cry struck to you. I'm just gonna do a cry instruction for the <laughs> Just go to the Kyle Castle Town. <laughs> Alright. Hyrule Castle Town. Yeah, go to Hyrule Castle Town. There's an important point that I've omitted from all of the everything that I was just talking about with regards to difficulty and accessibility. I also pretty adamantly hate uh,
content that some developers might describe as like presenting a blue blue or red both they will take you to that center column again on the second floor I think and check your map Yeah, so there's a dark nut. Uh, actually, no. You Just to keep things clear, you should go back and take the other one, mm -hmm. which will take you essentially like two rooms to the south. And then you can go to the um, southwest branch. I feel pretty strongly about uh, what a lot of developers would, would classify as bonus content. Mm -hmm. And I would usually describe it as either... Time wasters, or uh, thoughtlessly providing consumers tools to inflict self harm. Right. So what I'm talking about, all of the Koroks in Breath of the Wild, that is not a value add. That is just you leaving something around that someone can someone can use to uh, abuse themselves right mm -hmm. what are you trying to do man put a, put a pot on the button no you just need to step on the tiles that button is to reset the tiles in case you fail oh, the puzzle oh that's right yeah so for example Hollow Knight used to be one of my favorite games, right? Mm hmm. But then they came out with all of the DLC, and now I have to append asterisks to the, to the tail end of it, you know? Do I have to step on all of the tiles? Yes, and you have to turn all of the tiles to red, and you can't step on a red tile. Okay. You know what I mean? I do now. Okay. You failed. Oh, hold on, wait. Calculating, calculating, <laughs> calculating, calculating. No, you can still solve it. Sorry, I was wrong. The path is a little awkward, but I'm pretty sure you can still do it. Yes, yes. Uh, oh, that's a shame. That, that doesn't oh, feel... Oh, that was... Yeah, that doesn't feel great. Okay, well, now that I have another shot... Uh... So, Hollow Knight... Uh, yeah, I, I also don't like it when games include content that... very few people could reasonably clear. You know? I, I think that the thing that I... I want from the majority of games is just appropriateness. You know, designing with intentionality and adhering to that. Like, I, I don't like it when games... Whenever designers, like, they take the, uh, the core of something that they've crafted and they distort it, they twist it in either direction, either to say, like, well, we found out that this game has a big speedrunning community, so we're going to try to get people excited by including all of these extra hard bonus levels, so that way all of these people on Twitch can show all of this content to their to their subscribers, you know? I don't like that. That feels just as bad to me as whenever somebody is like, we're a small indie team, and we we just want to get paid for this, so we're willing to... If it means selling a ticket to our game... Oh my god. You gotta direct yourself away from them. Yeah. Just stand in the corner and swing. Let them come to you. Because that's how I won in the end. Maybe take the baby steps. Baby steps and always swing towards like the thickest part of the crowd. Mm -hmm. 
So whenever the, an indie developer is like, we just really want to move units. So even though we made a game that is explicitly about adversity, we'll be willing to let you turn the adversity off if it means you'll give us money instead of just watching it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know? And that, that just doesn't... All of that feels gross. All of that feels bad. Here they come. So okay. essentially what I'm saying is that uh, oh wait, maybe only one of them is real. <gasps> maybe, oh. maybe only one of them is real, and that's why they were they were phasing in and out. It's because they're not not the one you're actually supposed to target. I think you're right about that. Oh, hi. I hope another crowd of them shows up so we can test that <laughs> at some point. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is that I am equally haughty with regards to both, say, like. Uh, Hollow Knights. I don't think it's called Gods and Kings anymore. They had to change the name because somebody was giving them copyright trouble. Godslayer, I think? I am just as eh about Hollow Knight's final DLC as I am about Celeste's assist mode. Mm -hmm. I think that they were both inappropriate to include. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. What? Oof. I'm just like this game. Did you try going downstairs? No, I didn't. I was just checking for things. Yeah, there's some things. Oh, I'm sure it's so good. Ooh, that was right, pretty good. That was that was helpful. All right, I'm sorry, dungeon. I didn't mean it. 